Ben Shapiro. Yes, we all know the name. I can't ignore this story anymore because a lot happened. And at this point, there is just no saving face for Mr. Facts don't care about your feelings, as he has been acting like, like a toddler, pouting and throwing fits every time someone says something bad about Israel, getting offended and all sensitive anytime someone challenges his views. He has been a bigger crybaby than any leftist he's ever commented on, and his actions started to seriously affect the reputation of Daily Wire as a whole. I mean, if you influence decisions in the company that get Candace Owens fired or forced to leave over her refusing to radically and publicly support Israel, then you shame her for expressing her love for God and Christianity, you offend during your speech while she's nine months pregnant, not caring to cause her stress in this sensitive time, to finally slap her with a gag order right before you're about to have a much anticipated by everyone debate. You truly begin to look like a fool. Because he did a solo interview, he was asked about why Candace was gone. And he lied. He weaseled his way out of answering like a true lawyer he is. I'll show this interview to you, as well as take you through the whole conflict and what happened since November till now. Or as I call it, the downfall of Shapiro and the Daily Wire empire. And I know there are Daily Wire diehard fans out there to whom Shapiro can do no wrong, but I hope there are times like this one that we can be objective about it. So let's start with what happened back in November. I will use a little help here from the timeline put together by Forbes. So we have key facts. The beef between two pundits unfolded this week after Shapiro, a forceful supporter of Israel, was filmed calling Owens disgraceful for her false sophistication on the conflict. We say unfolded this week, which is in November. Then, conservatives have previously criticized Owens for her statements, including a post on X in which she said no government anywhere has a right to commit a genocide, though she clarified she did not mention Israel or any other country. Candace Owens did not bluntly or radically support either side, but somehow Ben Shapiro took it very personally. Candace was very pregnant at the time, preparing for her maternity leave, and he, instead of dealing with his feelings like a big boy, approaching her and hushing things out in private, he publicly offended her. He called her disgraceful during one of his speaking events, just because she didn't fully side with Israel. Owens posted a series of Bible verses Wednesday, including that you cannot serve both God and money. And again, Shapiro takes things personally. Shapiro responded in a post liked 26,000 times, telling her that if taking money from the Daily Wire somehow comes between you and God, by all means, quit. Minutes later, Owens accused Shapiro of acting unprofessional and emotionally unhinged for weeks now and called him utterly out of line for suggesting that I cannot quote biblical scripture, garnering more than 50,000 likes on both posts. Yes, I fully agree. He became a big unhinged baby. Obviously, he is an educated man. He is a gifted speaker. And when he talks, it's very believable. It's convincing. He does it with crazy amount of confidence and arrogance. More power to him. But all his career, he preached. Facts don't care about your feelings. Exactly. Facts don't care about your feelings. He even made a rap song about it, which became a number one rap song in the world, which we're not going to play because when I tried to react to it, make an episode about it, I got copyrighted. He kept preaching all the time, as often as possible. Facts don't care about your feelings. Facts don't care about your feelings. But now it's his feelings that were hurt, so he's retaliating. And don't get me wrong. I do not always agree with Candace Owens either, but this woman has guts. This woman is fearless. She also grew a very loyal audience on Daily Wire channels, and it's actually insane they let her go, just like that. So the next point on the timeline, Owens also appeared on the latest episode of Tucker Carlson show, which premiered on Wednesday, where she called Shapiro's comments ad hominem attacks that she couldn't respond to on a level of intellect. Yes, and then she gave birth took a few weeks off, of course, and things come down for a moment. For a moment. And in order for you guys to understand the severity of the next thing that happened, let me introduce you to this character, Rabia Shmuli Botek. He has been campaigning against Owens, calling for her to be fired from Daily Wire, harassing her online. She spoke about how upsetting it was on her podcast. She also commented on the rabbi's podcast with his daughter, who talked about sex, he promoted butt plugs on there, other disgusting things like being caught on camera, groping kids. It's just all very messed up. But is it shocking? I don't know. 
Anyway, back to Creepy Rabbi. Owens and Botech had publicly sparred online with Botech causing the commentator of spreading anti-Semitic conspiracies and pro-Hamas propaganda and Owens contending that the rabbi had engaged in a harassment campaign to force his political beliefs on her. Last Monday, Owens liked a social media post that had asked if Botek was drunk on Christian blood. Wire co-founder Ben Shapiro had also been critical of Owens for her absolutely disgraceful criticism of Israel and so on. It came to the point when the said rabbi posted videos like this one. The real shame is that Ben Shapiro, who wears a yarmulke and runs the Daily Wire, created the Daily Wire, continues to employ her. He continues to profit off Jew hatred and anti-Semitism. And Ben, I'm telling you, the righteous God who watches all that we do will never, will never give you or the Daily Wire any blessing, any blessing from the money you're making off Candace Owens. It's really a Shonda. It's shocking that you would be employing an anti-Semite. And you know, Ben Shapiro, you and I both know that if MSNBC or if CNN employed someone who said that they love Kanye West or employed a host who said they don't know who was right on October 7th, you would be calling them out, Ben Shapiro, on your show every day saying CNN has lost their marbles and yet you're doing this. It's shocking and disappointing. Can you imagine if that's the reason he fired Candace Owens? Because Shmuley said so. <laughs> At this point, I will believe anything. So he was literally campaigning, threatening Shapiro to stop supporting Candace. Well, he did stop, as we already know. Owens made her last video on the Daily Wire platform explaining how much she has gone through in the past months just because she refused to be a radical. Whether it was about BLM or Israel or any other issue. And here we go on to the next timeline done by Forbes. But before we continue, and if you haven't already, please share and like this video. That's it. Just click on the like and share button. Not asking for anything else. I gotta fight this cruel algorithm. I'm also on Rumble now, so if you want uncensored content, follow me there. I'll be forever grateful. So, back to the timeline. Daily Wire CEO Jeremy Boring posted on X on Friday that the website and Owens have ended their relationship. A message quickly followed by Owens' own post confirming the rumors are true and teasing many announcements in the weeks to come. The announcement comes after months of infighting at the Daily Wire that went public in November as Shapiro and Owens traded insults online spurred by their differing views on the Israel-Hamas war. Shapiro, an Orthodox Jew, has been a staunch supporter of Israel amid the war, while Owens has lashed out against political Jews, accusing them of fueling anti-Semitism and supported conspiracy theories that secret Jewish gangs are responsible for horrific acts against people in Hollywood. Okay, this is like out of context, okay? It's weirdly written because she really is not a radical. She's never said it this way. Either way, she wasn't wrong. But so many people are afraid to say it out loud. And the worst part of it all is that Ben Shapiro lied about the reason Candace was let go from Daily Wire. He said that it had nothing to do with Israel and difference of opinions. But this is very hard to believe, especially that he did not volunteer an explanation as to why was she gone? Why did they get rid of her? Here is what he said in one of the interviews. Can you at least talk to just sort of just sort of where it's at now? She's free to do whatever she wants to do, to be wherever she wants to be. When it comes to the host on The Daily Wire, obviously everyone is able to say what they want. Nobody ever comes to me and says, you can't say X. Nobody ever says that to Walsh. No one ever said that to Candace. But the reality is that there is an Overton window at the Daily Wire. Obviously, there was a non-meeting of the minds. That's pretty much all I can say on this. Daily Wire has a very strong editorial position on a wide variety of, of issues. And by the way, I should say that, you know, there are a lot of people who are suggesting this is about disagreements over Israel. I mean, I can simply say it is not about disagreements over Israel to the extent that without reference to Candace at all here, Matt Walsh has taken the position that America ought not be involved in the Middle East at all. That's just a pure isolationist position. I disagree with it. I think it's wrong. I think that, that it's short-sighted. But again, he's on our platform that, that is well within the range of acceptable discourse at the Daily Wire. Range of acceptable discourse. So there is a range. And if you're out of range, you're gone. Either way, he really said nothing in this interview. Bunch of meaningless words. This was the moment when people really started noticing that he was not okay. He was so deep into protecting Israel's reputation, he began to lose the plot. He began to really drop his principles. Everything he was preaching all these years went out the window. Anyone who dared to accuse Israel or Jewish people of wrongdoing caused him to lash out. The next point on this timeline is Owens has in the past defended rapper Kanye West, whose career was derailed in 2022 after he made anti-Semitic comments and defended actions of Adolf Hitler 
in the name of nationalism. Okay, this crap is also taken out of context and she explained it in her podcast. You guys can go watch it. On Wednesday, Holocaust denier Nick Fuentes supported Owens in her full-fledged war against the Jews and said, this is the, fo this is the face of a total Jewish defeat. We fucking got your back, Candice. They're filth. Well, again, she didn't say it. Someone else who said it. The Anti-Defamation League on Thursday called Owens and Fuentes bigoted and accused her of fueling the fire of hate with her vitriolic anti-Semitism. Anyway, now we are getting to the big reveal, the juicy part of the latest revelation in this conflict. New York Post wrote, Daily Wire obtains gag order against Candace Owens despite Ben Shapiro wanting debate. Yes, so quick explanation. Owens tweeted at Shapiro right after she was fired. I would like to debate Ben Shapiro on Israel and the current definition of anti-Semitism. Can somebody make that happen? This started a public back and forth, of course, between them on Twitter. Let's see those tweets. Ben answered. Sure, Candice, I texted you on February 29th offering this very thing. Let's do it on my show this Monday at 5 p.m. at our studios in Nashville. 90 minutes live streamed. And she answered, I'm sure you can appreciate why I'd prefer to keep this off the Daily Wire platform, as well as the true reason why we were never able to make any discussion happen. Let's choose a neutral, trustworthy platform. I vote PBD. She was just fired or she quit. We still don't really know what happened, but it was not good. So yeah, nobody who parted ways with their employer on bad terms would want to go back to the office and try to debate with them. You're fired. But also, come on Monday, let's talk about it. She also wrote, I will also throw Joe Rogan as an option or your buddy Lex Friedman. Truly, pick a moderator or agree to do this live one-on-one -on -one via a channel that the Daily Wire cannot cash in on. But I am fully in. Sure enough, everyone was eager to host this debate. PBD posted a video response almost immediately expressing that he would like to be the moderator and do it peacefully and on neutral ground. He also wanted to donate 250k to charity over this. Shapiro responded, Candice, I can see why you'd want to hide behind the moderator. And by the way, she didn't say only moderator. She literally gave two options, either moderator or live on a neutral ground. So yeah. Particularly one who said, we should rename our company The Daily Jewish Wire just yesterday. No, one-on-one, -on -one, Monday at 5 p.m. We can sit down and have a healthy debate like adults. It didn't age well, this sentence. And we'll li live stream it on X and YouTube. Take it or leave it. As to the true reason you didn't respond to my offer to sit down with you and discuss these issues publicly or privately back in February, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. So yeah, notice he is setting his conditions. He's making rules. He wants to do it on his terms. Owens responded. I'm not hiding behind a moderator, LOL. I'm just choosing not to bring eyes to the Daily Wire. You are rather typically removing PBD's words from their proper context to make it seem as though he baselessly attacked you. Rather, he offered free advice. The Daily Wire would not take heat if they were open about their priorities. But I will choose to be understanding regarding your exhaustive sensitivities to everyone everywhere. Would you prefer Charlie Kirk, Tim Cast? She also added, Man, this was a long, long chat on Twitter. Also, want the public to know that the entire executive team at the Daily Wire, who Ben would have run this response by, uh, proposal by, are aware that I am in London right now. They know the Monday deadline in person is virtually impossible to swing, which is why I am convinced this is just a show and tell. No reason at all we can't just coordinate schedules like adults. If he is actually game and not playing a pretend, I am very, very, very much game to make this happen. He answered something that he doesn't know her schedule. I don't know. But as you see, it was beginning to look messy and a little bit like following a high school mean girls fight online. It was entertaining, to be honest. We all love a bit of drama when we are not the ones directly involved. But you can see that Ben is like, Monday, 5 p.m., take it or leave it. Candace is like, dude, chill, I'm game. Let's do it anywhere except at Daily Wire. So since then, everyone was waiting for the said debate to happen and apparently it was being planned. Well, at least that's what we thought. The right-leaning news and commentary site Daily Wire obtained a gag order against former host Candace Owens, despite co-founder Ben Shapiro claiming he wanted to publicly debate her about Israel and anti-Semitism, according to a report. The Daily Wire secretly sought to muzzle Owens through a private arbitrator after she left the company in March, wrote Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist Glenn Greenwald in his local's 
newsletter on Thursday. I mean, come on, what are they afraid of? What was there that Candice would say that they were so scared to hear? The whole platform dedicated to preaching about free speech and being against censorship are trying to silence Candice. Rolling Stone also wrote, Boring told Greenwald that his report is inaccurate to the point of being false. You're right. He did not elaborate. I'm sure you can appreciate how fraught a high-profile breakup like this is. For that reason, we are trying to resolve our issues with Candice privately. Boring is quoted as telling Greenwald. Okay, that's why he's speaking to press about it. And that's why publicly gagging her. And that's why all the Twitter fights. And that's why public breakup. Very private. Very adult. Skata. It was turned into circus as soon as they silenced her. They brought more attention to this issue. Owens has something big on them, guys. We just need to wait to hear it. Despite Boring's pledge that the company would not fire Owens over her views on Israel, Daily Wire did just that, according to Greenwald. The company had concluded that her increasingly vocal criticism of Israel, opposition to US financing of it, and her views on anti-Semitism were incompatible with the Daily Wire's policies. Greenwald wrote on Thursday. And that's why Ben Shapiro and the whole Daily Wire look like losers right now because they did not practice what they preached. They claimed to always be on the side of truth, on the side of logic, on the side of facts. They claimed so many times that Candice has nothing to worry about, that she would not be fired over her political views, which of course usually mostly aligned with the conservative views of the whole platform, until she dared to be neutral and say that anytime innocent children die in war, it should not happen. Oh my God, how dare she? How dare she not be blindly taking sides? And just see what's happening in America right now. Bill to combat anti-Semitism on campuses prompts backlash from the right. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, Republican of Georgia, said the legislation could make it illegal to assert that Jewish killed Jesus, punishing Christians for believing the gospel. Do you know what that means? That means that everyone has freedom of speech and freedom of religion except Christians. It's like when Candace Owens wrote, Christ is king, and Shapiro took it as anti-Semitic attack. No joke. So you guys tell me, what's your take on this situation? Am I judging Ben Shapiro too harshly or you agree with me that he lost the plot and acted like a fake coward by going behind Owen's back and serving her with gag order? Let me know in the comments. And just a reminder, please subscribe to my channel, turn on all notifications to never miss another Daily Fredo episode. For even more content, check out my Rumble account linked in the description and follow me on Instagram at Daily Fredo. That's all for today. Have a good one. He's on our platform that, that is well within the range of acceptable discourse at the Daily Wire.